got special guest uh, Theo here today, <laughs> and he's gonna help me find some baculites so, in here. We've got one right here. You can see those sutures, and yeah. it's nicely uh, calcified, which Wait, means those what, sutures are gonna show sutures? great. I don't see any sutures. Sutures are, yeah, see? The, the little branchy pattern right there. Oh my, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. <gasps> so if you can- I didn't even see that the whole, <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> so ah. same with that one. You can see this little circle oh right there. Oh my goodness. That one's probably running right through here. And uh, when they're calcified like that, that's what makes the suture show. So when you get down to that one, you can polish it for those sutures. There's another one right underneath it. I can't believe um, I didn't see those there's sutures. There's a very weathered one right there that's probably not worth working on. There's another one right here that probably would be, but that big one is really the gonna be the focal point. And okay. you can see it's kind of at an angle. So it's weathered on this face right here, but if you look, it actually continues down to here. So is it something that I need to take chisel out? like? This one, how do I how do I get to it? This one is thin enough that I would probably go straight to Dremel to start like carving down to it because like carving on the outside. Yeah, like okay. uh, if you have diamond stuff, I can show you. I can okay. do a demonstration and show you how I work on. Fossils. All right. No, wait, really quick. What are we view this? So do I that think again. I was viewing it that way. Yeah, we can. Okay, do it again. so this is a piece of baculite here. So you may, you know. may recognize this from my channel. <laughs> <laughs> you may recognize that. So Theo is going to show us how that exactly is in that rock right there. And this is actually a great example because the fracture point is so similar. So you can see that sharp angle right here. Same with this. It is literally sitting right like that. And the wow. best way to demonstrate that is you can actually see that outer shell layer yeah. perfectly. So it wow. is probably at an angle like this. Yeah, because you can see the the bottom shell layer right there, and then there's more. Do that. Do the angle one more time. Right. Um, so we've got the the outline okay. of the shell layer. I you can see tell that. it's probably at an angle like this because if you flip it over, you can see the other end of the shell. Okay. So if you right grab there. it here, I'll hold it for you. So it's laying like. It's laying like like this. Okay. In proportion to that rock. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about this one? Is that a that one? is um, a, a negative. So, <laughs> so, so that is where, like, what you just did actually, there was a baculite oh, right here. That okay. is the negative imprint that, okay. from a baculite. Okay, that's very helpful. Okay. So thank ignore. You, thank you, Alexis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So my pretty girl. much ignore this shell there because okay. that is from a baculite that is no longer in this okay. conglomerate. Okay. Okay. And yeah, you can if you flip it around, you can see there's there's baculites all throughout this whole thing. There's one there, one under it, the nice one here, obviously. There's a couple of crushed ones right here that I would not re really spend much time on because okay. they're not going to be that great. There's a little one right here. So yeah, there's there's a lot in this one, honestly. That's okay. a, that's a really nice conglomerate. Okay. All right. Well, Theo's going to take a look at this <laughs> huge septarian mud concretion and uh, see if there's anything possibly in it. Oh, <laughs> okay, so with these conglomerates, they are not usually pearl bearing. So that like the other ones, bear pot formation stuff, um, those shell layers are gonna be your indicator. These do not have those. So there's no real knowing. We, we kind of just have to break <laughs> the rock open and get into it. So this okay. actually is a great example. You would be tempted to go on one of these lines and split it, right. that is calcite. That is not gonna help you any. Oh. You want to find all of these fracture lines. So there's these fracture lines all throughout here. And oh. those are where we wanna, that is gonna be our point of attack. This is probably gonna be the best place to start. So not on like the calcite no. lines, all right. No, I you don't wanna touch that. the calcite because okay. that's probably not gonna reveal anything okay. for us. Okay. All okay. of the ones that I found, the majority of the fossils from that formation, I, I, I can say this with certainty because I, I know where this came from and I hunt there too. And uh, yeah, they will usually be away from the calcite. They're okay. almost never like mingled with calcite. Okay. So this was a good one though, right? It, 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 and this has a lot of promise. Another thing I've learned about that site is the more calcite in the conglomerate, the less likely there is any fossils. And this okay. one doesn't have a whole lot of calcite. Okay. All right. So this is promising. Huh, what's that? Well, I guess we'll find out. I know, I saw that sticking out of there and I was like, <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone or it's just mud. <laughs> Thank you.
crystals in there. <laughs> I tried to find the one without the crystal. On the bright side, that is a beautiful crystal pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that is too. Ooh, that one's even better. Get it, Alexis. Get it. Get it, girl. There. We go. <laughs> there. Okay. Well, let's look at this. Got my expert team. <laughs> I would never call myself an expert. Oh yeah. Oh no. The Kellison team is in the house. You have a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> You're like <laughs> it's gentle enough that it All right. Well, we tried. We, we, it we was fun it. trying. No fossils in this one, but <laughs> you do have a really pretty crystal pocket. Very pretty. That, that got beautiful. isolated. Yeah. Yeah, you did that quite okay. well, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Alexis. Oh yes. <laughs> Wasn't trying at all <laughs> to hit that pocket itself. <laughs> it was. So, we want flat tip burr, like that diamond burr. And yeah, uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you know this is exactly how I I do this. So we uh, are going to find our shell layer. So it looks like it's right there. Okay. With this, you want the sutures, right? Yes. Okay, so that is great. That is going to be very forgiving. Oh gosh, we need to go that high. So we can grind down on these. Just grind down. And follow that line. Also, I do this with a mask on, obviously. And you can see this, that this is an example. We get that spot kind of thinned down, and then we're gonna brace it with our thumb and come in at an angle. And you can see all that rock flaking away. Yeah. And just like that, we just freed a little bit of that shell there. Okay. Be gentle, and okay. I mean gentle because going straight down can be hard on your collets. Pretty much just using the weight of our hands. And you don't have to be as careful. Uh, when you want to keep the shell intact, you have to be very careful. Okay. Because you have to stop the moment it hits that shell there. But because you want the sutures, you can actually grind into the shell, no problem. Okay. Because once you get it excavated, you're going to go in and, and grind that off and then polish it up. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. very simplified. That's pretty much what we're doing. Right. And um, I, I know this because I've seen your channel for a much more in-depth <laughs> tutorial on this. You could go check out Theo Kellison <laughs> and his many YouTube uh, instructional videos <laughs> on uh, fossils. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Theo. Of course. Okay. Off all of this entire cap right here okay, if that so makes sense grind all of that off and that's going to get you down to this line okay. and then from here you're probably going to want to go like looks like it's right here and again you'll you'll start to see the shape of the the actual fossil okay. so you can see how much farther this way you want to go but it's pretty much going to be like, like, you can see that outline right there. Okay. That's what you're, you're shooting for. All right. Let me just mark this for you. Yes, please. Grind all that. of that away. So you want to get right. rid of this pocket right here. Okay. And that will actually open up so you can see where the fossil is. So you can go farther this way. Okay. And you're going to want to get rid of this pocket right here. Okay. All right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh.
Okay, so looking at what I've dug out so far, I went a little bit too deep here on this front part. You can kind of see I went through the shell and through the pattern, but <laughs> it's okay because there'll still be some under this dark part and there'll be some sutures underneath here so I just need to pop this out and see if I can polish it up just a little bit you can see where this little guy this little chunk was sitting right in here you can see the shell on here so I'm going to remove some of the shell and uh, reveal some of the sutures under there. So after all that, I was walking with my piece and I totally dropped it on the floor and cracked it. <laughs> and half of my nice pattern here broke so oh well uh, this was just my practice one <laughs> practice one I'm learning so um, there are some cool um, pieces I took out of it that I'm going to keep going with and 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 practicing I can see that one coming out right here and some nice pretty shell and then this was really neat I cut into this one and look at this shell there's one shell here and there's another one in there And then there is a baculite coming out the top here. And then there's a one here that goes straight across that I'm uncovering. There's a couple. And then there's more shell layer on top and looks like a nice pretty shell layer over here that I can probably polish up nice but it looks like it continues underneath here too. So that definitely might be nice to polish up and some little fossils when I cut through, showing through here. So I will still have some fun with it. See a baculite right there, still with the shell on there. I will still have some fun, even though I can't believe I just broke this. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and there will be plenty more videos like this to come. So, rock on.